Hi everyone, uh, as the video title suggests I decided to add a sand battery to the rocket stove and while I was taking the paint off I decided to go a bit further and give it a good sanding and then uh, a bit of a polishing with a 3M compound. This is fire cement and this is fantastic because it's very liquid, it goes on like a silicone so it's very easy to apply. I decided to use plastering sand, it's very fine, uh, but it's very, very wet, which was a mistake. Finally bought myself a blowtorch. I don't know why I waited so long. It makes lighting the stove a uh, doddle compared to what it was before. I put the thermal camera on the main body of the stove to try and record the temperature. And in less than 15 minutes, uh, it got up to 150 degrees, which is the, the max that the, the camera will record. After waiting for the, the sand to dry inside the battery part, um, I realized it, ju it just wasn't gonna dry. Uh, so I took it out bit by bit and put it under the hottest part of the stove. I put this bit on top of the stove um, and it eventually dried out and you can see it drying out here. So with the heat that's in it, it takes an awful long time for the sand is very cold it takes an awful long time for it to travel up i put these bits of copper they go all the way to the bottom and they help the, the heat uh, disperse through the sand um which i can and we'll see how long it takes but it takes an awfully long time for the the heat to get into the sand to heat this up but when it does, it, it stays warm for so long, so we'll monitor that. It took around 45 minutes to an hour for the sand to get up to temperature. It's five and a half hours since the stove was turned off and we're still reading over 50 degrees Celsius in the sand which is quite remarkable.